So we're going to be analyzing this uh, clip here of several Embiid and Simmons pick and rolls. And the reason we're going to be analyzing this is that Doc Rivers said that he's going to be running a lot more of these plays. So here Embiid actually inbounds the ball and he cuts and then he dunks. I, I just, why was it Embiid an inbounder and have court situation more often? That kind of cut play action was just available every time. So here's Sarge hands it off to Simmons who's able to dump it off to Embiid. And I want you to examine why this play works. As Simmons drives, Lopez shows, and that leaves MB. And that means that a guard or forward has to rotate the guard MB. No matter whether you sag or whether you show it, same situation. Name me a 6 7 player that's guarding you out. And if you try to stop the drive, it opens up an MB pop, whether it's mid range or whether it's free. This is the unguardable action. At least for 27 of 30 NBA teams, or 28 of 30 NBA teams, here Houston shows again, commits to the ball handler, and MB is able to roll and occupy this spot. There's only two teams, really, that I can think of that have the size and the athleticism to stop this play from happening. And that is the Miami Heat with Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, and the Los Angeles Lakers with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Those are the type of elite athletes that are able to stop a bend on a dime and at the same time rotate to cover a rolling 7-2 center. Uh, other than those two teams, can you really think off the top of your head who could stop MB from rolling to the spot? Now, there were times where MB wasn't the quickest roller, but then it's also a matter of being decisive. Ben is able to create the gravity by being an aggressive driver. He has to drive the ball aggressively in order for this to work the way that it's working right here. As you can just see the penetration just opens it up. And then Embiid is able to get to that spot even if he's not the quickest roller. But if Embiid does lose the weight, lose the cardio, and is more quicker rolling to the basket, there are only two teams that can stop this. So some might say, why didn't we run it that often? Is it because Ben couldn't shoot? No. It's really, we were the eighth best scoring team on screens last year. We ran them 4% of the time. So it's not that we couldn't score on screens. It's just we didn't run them at all. So I'm actually looking very forward to this. John Bede and Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons and Seth Curry. Tobias Harris and Ben Simmons. Tobias Harris and Seth Curry. There are numerous combinations of big ball handlers with screening actions, and that's what's going to open up this offense. I think every six of the is going to be amazed with the quick hitting downhill attack of Doc Rivers, as has been his history with the Clippers, with the Celtics, with the Magic, and now with us. You're going to see a lot of points on the board, and I am excited for it. Six of basketball is back. Woo!